All right, I'm Rudy Rucker, and I'm here to tell you about my novel, Juicy Ghosts. There's three main elements in Juicy Ghosts, politics, telepathy, and immortality. I wrote the book during the years 2019 to 2021, so I was really embroiled in the political nightmare that the U.S. was undergoing. I reached a breaking point early in 2019 when Donald Trump said he was planning to be president for three terms. And at that point I snapped and I wrote a story called Juicy Ghost. And in my Juicy Ghost story, which later grew into the novel, but in the story there's some young people, they're sort of biohackers and slackers, they're around San Francisco and Santa Cruz, and they band together, and they go to Washington, D.C., and Ross Treadle, as I call him, is having his third inauguration, President Ross Treadle. So they push up to the front of the crowd, and they kill him with a sting of a bio-tweaked wasp, a very large wasp, that actually has the mind of one of my characters is inside the wasp. Anyway, that's not quite enough, so then they go into the cloud and they find where President Treadle had stored his life box, or the, the data, a backup for his mind, and they shred that. And then they find a clone that he'd grown living in the house of his attorney, and we blow that up with dynamite. And uh, maybe that's a little too far, but it's hard to stop when you're having fun. Now, the book's not all about politics, and it's not all gloomy. It's meant to be a fun book, even funny in a lot of parts. Each chapter is like a little story on its own, each with a different narrator, and most of the narrators are women, and that gives the book a nice light tone, uh, kind of more pleasant, than hearing what a lot of men think about things. The telepathy element has to do with something that I think isn't that far off technologically, we think of telepathy crudely as maybe being a cell phone in your head, but in the novel I, I want it to be something better. So I suppose that people have these molecules inside them, I call them gossip molecules, like gossip girls. And they're like nano assemblers and they have tiny antennas and your gossip molecules sniff into your blood and find out what kind of hormones or psychochemicals or uh, pheromones are rushing around in your bloodstream and they send the blueprint of the to the person you're teeping with or t doing telepathy with and that person's gossip molecules build the same hormones and pheromones and cyber chemicals inside their bloodstream and then they feel just like you. The uh, other tech element that's very big in the book is immortality. I've been writing about immortality ever since my novel software in 1982 and it's always been this software immortality again i call it a life box you get some kind of package of code and a database and that to some extent has the essence of a person but all along i've been thinking that's not the real thing what we want is something more analog more funky more quantum and we don't want to just be a ghost we want to be a juicy ghost now, how do you become a juicy ghost? That means you don't just hang in your life box, you send down some kind of tendril and get into a connection with a body on Earth. Now, the body could be an insect would be enough, or a duck, or a dog. Of course, the best is to have a tank-grown clone of yourself, and uh, but that's expensive. Now, the catch with the juicy ghost deal is everybody wants immortality now. They know it's feasible, you need a life box, and you need to get a hookup to a body so you can be a juicy ghost. But it's expensive, and, uh, but there's some big companies that step in, and they say, well, we'll host your, your life box for free, we'll let you have a body every couple of times a week. But there's a catch, you're going to be gig working for that company. When you're in that body, you're going to be sweeping up, or you're going to be driving a car, or you're going to be cooking, or you're going to be somebody's bodyguard, or working in a factory. You're going to be a gig worker. Eternity, you have paradise, you're in heaven, but you're gig working. That's kind of indicative of where we're at, right? 
So, I like to see a happy ending. So in the end, we've wiped out Ross Treadle, the evil president. We've uh, destroyed his mind. We've crushed his horrible party that he was head of. We've brought down the, the greedy, evil, greed head, cloud silo people with their rent-a-heaven scam, making dead people into gig workers. That's all gone. And instead, everybody on Earth can get their own Juicy Ghost for free and their own kind of body in a certain special sense that you'll see if you read the novel. So that's my pitch, and I hope you read Juicy Ghosts. It's another effing masterpiece. Thanks.